time for some more phonics and we're going to practice the sounds that you have been learning whilst you've been at home and we're going to practice them rather than ha having a new sound this week because it's important that we don't forget them and that we know how to use them okay right so i'm going to show you the sounds and then see if you can shout them out really loud or you might want to whisper them and then we're going to have a look at some three sounds together this week okay you ready yes that was last week some of you shouting them out some of you might be whispering them well done it's really important that we don't forget these sounds There's our trigraph because it has three letters. Fantastic, well done. So this week, the three sounds that I'd like us to recap and practice are, are you ready? You might see it on my board behind me. Are you ready? So I'd like us to think about I, well done, remember our trigraph, the three letters makes the I sound. And what do we say for I? That's right, fly high. E, yeah, what can you see? E, well done. And our other one, E, fantastic. Can you remember the, it's an animal on the back of this car, very small, slow animal, can you remember? That's right, it's A, snail in the rain, A, okay? And this week, what I'd like you to do with them is see behind me on the laptop, I've made a page and I've just put a line down to separate them. So you might want to actually go and get a piece of paper. So I've got mine ready, big piece of paper. And you might even want to choose a nice coloured felt tip. So I've got a selection here to use. All right, and then come back and press play on the video. All right, and then I'd like you to write E across the top. So if you've got your pen and paper now, we'll do it together. Or I'm going to choose red for A. So I'm going to make my A red. A, oh, Mrs. Reed needs a new red felt tip, I think. A, and then draw a line down. To separate them so we're making what's called a table a sorting table and then I'm going to make my E Ooh, I like b -b -b blue I think I'm gonna have E as blue oh Mrs Reed I think you need a new blue one as well and then put a line down like this look you do it on your paper Right, wasn't the straightest line for Mrs. Reed. And then we'll have I, I think in green. Let's hope Mrs. Reed's green pen works a little bit better and it does. Fabulous. Right, so you've got your table. So you've got A, I, E, sorry, and I. So I'd like you to think about these and I'm going to say some words and choose them. And then you have to think, oh, I can hear the E sound in that word. And see if you can practice Fred sounding it out and put it in the right section. Do you think you can do that? Yes, you can. Okay, so I'll put that up there. If you can see, and I've got it on the board as well. Oh, let's see, which word am I going to choose first? I'm going to use the back of the cards because they have words on there to help me. Um, you ready? Bean. So if I put that into a sentence, it would I would say, I have been to the beach. But e n been, I have been to the beach. You put it in before I tell you where it goes. You ready? It should go in the e section. Pop it in the e section for e. What can you see? So you would have but. E, N, Bean. Fantastic. Oh, next one. I'm going to try and trick you. 
bright. Um, night. At night, I have a bedtime story at night. 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 Do you decide which one is it going to go in? Which colour pen are you going to use? It's going to be in blue, red. Ready? So it should have been put in the I section. Well done because we can hear N I T T on the end. N I T. Excellent. You're doing really well with this. Oh, this time I'm going to choose. I want to say the word paint because I love to paint a nice picture, a nice rainbow. P -e -nt. P -e -nt. So which one of these are you going to put it in? Which one are you going to put it in? Are you ready? Did you pop it in? This one? No, because that makes the I sound. Did you pop it in? This one? No, because that makes the E sound. It should be put in here because the A and the E makes the E sound for paint. P -e -nt. P -e -nt. You could even try putting your sound buttons in along the bottom because I know some of you are very good at doing that. All right, so what you could do is you could you could make your own flashcards. So you could get a piece of paper, put a giant I, put a giant E on another piece, and then put your giant E on another piece of paper. And then your adult might read some words to you that might have these sounds in. And you have to hold them up. E, E. Okay, and then you could swap that role and your adult might then have the cards and you could try and trick them with some words with those sounds in. So that's an idea of an activity you could try at home. But before I go, you know I like to play games. So I found another game that we've had a little go at before at school, but I thought I'd show you in case your adult might like to log you on the computer and try this at home. So we'll just shuffle a little bit closer because I know my screen sometimes doesn't always work oh, so we can't always see it. That's it. So this game this week before we go is called Pick a Picture. Okay, so it's going to tell us a word and then we have to sound the word out and then choose the right picture that matches with it. Do you think we can do that? Yes, we can do that. Are you ready? Here we go. So it might have more than the A, E, I. So it might have our other sounds in to try and trick us. So we'll keep practising them. Okay. Are you ready? So, new word. Oh, are you ready? Let's sound it out. The word is here. K. Otwa. Oh, what sound does Otwa make? It makes. Ow. Well done. So let's put it in. K. Ow. Cow. So if it's if the word says cow, do I click the picture of a sheep? No. So we need to click on cow. And then we get one right. Woohoo! Well done. Right, next one. Let's see. Oh, are you ready? Th and the et makes e and t. Th eat feet. So where's the feet? There it is. So we'll click on there. And now we get two. Woohoo! Let's see if we can get ten. I think we can. Ready? Next one. Oh, are you ready? S and the hat makes the sh. sh Eep. Sheep. Excellent. Let's click on sheep. Woohoo! We're doing really well. We've got three now. Let's see if we can get to ten. Let's do another one. Oh, remember this makes the... It could make oo or it could make o. Oh. Okay, so in this one it's o. Oh. So we say th, o, t, 
foot. Fantastic. So there's a picture of a lovely foot. That's four right now. Next one. Oh, are you ready? T E T E T E T Teeth. Excellent. Now we have five. Come on, let's see if we can get to ten. Next one, you ready? K R K R. Super. It's a red car as well for Red Beaver. For Red Beaver. Next one. Oh, b o t b o t boat. Excellent. Seven. Nearly at ten. Next one. G o t g o t goat. Excellent. Two more. We can do this. Oh, wow. That's a long one, but we'll not let it trick us. Are you ready? Let's break it down. Ooh, there's our trigraph. I, ooh, I, t, light, light. And then we can say n, ing, ng, n, ing, lightning, lightning, oh, lightning. There's our lightning bolt there. And final one before we go. Ooh, ing. Remember, ng, n, and g, make ng, ring. Ring super. Yay! We got 10 out of 10 together. Super teamwork. So I look forward to some more sounds next week that we'll continue to practice. And I might even find another game. Remember, this is on Phonics Play. So ask your adult to go on Internet Explorer, Phonics Play. And if you click into Phase 3, they're the sounds that we are looking at at this time okay had a lot of fun and i'll see you for some more phonics fun next week all right bye for now <laughs>